So the RTX 50 series is here, and apparently you can get 4090 performance for $549. Now, is that BS? 4090 performance at 549. I think so. Obviously, they're using AI and DLSS to make that even possible, if it's even true. But um, let's talk about this real quick. Uh, we got a lot of information on the cards. Boy, is there a lot of uh, uh, third-party cards coming out from Asus and other manufacturers. But um, this is my show and tell. You thought AMD was bad. Boy, they went on for, what, a good hour and some change about AI. We get it. AI, 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 AI. Um, Luckily, they were smart and got almost right to it, to the uh, new 50 series cards. So you didn't have to watch the whole thing. I decided to watch the whole thing because I thought it was semi-interesting. But this is the main, you know, holy grail of what everybody cares about. And that is the 50 series graphics cards. There's a lot of information on their site alone, like a comparison chart, which is pretty cool. But as a lot of other YouTubers and, and TikTokers have pointed out, there's not much difference here. Um, obviously, GDDR7 memory is going to give you a little bit of boost. And then we got DLSS4. And then apparently there's, you know, a lot more AI performance in these cards. So when it comes to obviously DLSS and, and, and anything AI, it's obviously going to perform better. But I'm more interested in third-party manufacturers. So first up, we got Colorful. Never heard of this company before. Uh, apparently, they have the popular 4090. I tried to look it up. I don't know if I've seen that in people's builds before. Maybe. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on that. Maybe the white version I've seen in people's builds, but I, maybe this, I don't know. I, I don't mean, I, I've never heard of this brand before. Anyway, so they got a couple of different options. This looks kind of cool, but you're going to notice a lot of people are going with the AIO, and that's because of the power consumption. That's always been my concern with higher end cards is the power draw. Now, in my current PC, and I'll show some B-roll of it, I have a 7800 XT. And the reason why I have a 7800 XT is because of the power draw. It kind of sits in the 150 to maybe 220 range, depending on the game. Like, Marvel Rivals will easily crank it to 250, 260. But in general, most games, like Call of Duty, I'm at like 170. It's kind of crazy. Um, and I love that because it keeps the room nice and cool. Unless you're gaming for hours and hours, it's not really, it's going to be comfortable to play a game. Whereas once you jump up to these higher end cards, you really start to uh, uh, utilize a lot of power. And I'm going to try to get to the power consumption in a second. Let's see if we can find it. The 5090 in particular is 575 watts. I'm assuming that's under load. That's a lot. That's a lot of power. Um, if you live somewhere that's decently cold throughout the year, no biggie. And if you get one of these um, AIOs, again, it really helps with the heat. But uh, my biggest turnoff has always been the power consumption. On the 7900 XTX, playing a game, seeing, looking at benchmarks, it's pulling over 400 watts in most cases. And that's just insane to me. And then you look at something like the 4080 Super, which was a card I was heavily interested in when I was debating which cards to get. And in some cases, it was at half the wattage in the low twos, which is crazy. And the numbers are very similar, if not better, on the 4080 Super in some cases. So when I look at stuff like this, obviously 5090, the GOAT, if you're spending that kind of money, you got a beefy, you know, computer. And then you look at other cards like the 5080, just one tier down, 360 watts. That's crazy. What a huge difference. And you can obviously undervolt that. You can do some things to get that wattage even lower when you're gaming or just in general daily use, uh, uh, creating content, whatever. Um, so this is more interesting to me, the 5080 and the 5070 Ti. What's the 5070 Ti looking like? I'm assuming it's very similar. Let's see. Interesting, 300. See, I like that. That's been my biggest complaint about these GPUs, these more higher end GPUs, is the amount of power it's consuming. It's not necessarily about like your bill, your 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 power bill every month. It is more so just the heat, all the heat going into your room. Um, the more wattage you're using, the more heat it's going to produce and potentially really heat up your room. So I'm liking the 5070 Ti from a power consumption point. Also, the 5080 is very uh, interesting. 
Um, it's going to depend on what's available, how much over MSRP these cards are going to be. Obviously, they're going to be tough to get, especially that 5090. You're not getting that at MSRP at launch. Not happening. Um, you got to be super quick to get that. And then you obviously got scalpers that are going to up the price. Now, let's look at some other options here from Asus. They got some cool designs here. Because all these, uh, the NVIDIA reference cards are, are two fans, which is interesting. So I'd also like to see the comparison between that and, you know, third-party options. Because these cards look really cool, especially if you've got an RGB in your system. All right, that's a pretty cool design. And then they got a fan on the rear, which is interesting. Is that one power port? interesting again you're going to notice a lot of people doing the aio because of the power consumption 500 plus watts on a, on a gravis card is insane um it looks cool again if you got a lot of rgb in your pc it's gonna look really freaking cool man this is really i like this this is really cool oh my god and i'm i'm my pc like i said is very minimalistic. Uh, I don't got much RGB going on. It's just the case lighting. And even now I got it set to like white and it's dimmed. Um, I'm, I'm kind of over the RGB phase. It's also very expensive, but uh, this will look really freaking cool in my, even, even, even this, which by the way, uh, AMD has the same for their 9070 XT has the same kind of layout. It just says Radeon right there. Um, I'm liking what Asus is doing this year, especially their tough gaming looks way better than it did last year or the previous year, uh, previous generation that they were doing way too much with the previous generation with doing all this crap up here and, and the, the, the gold, yellow, art of whatever you want to call it, lighting, uh, uh, colors. I don't know. It looked kind of weird in a lot of people's uh, computer cases. But look at all these options. Jesus Christ. So me personally, I am thinking about getting the 5070 Ti or the 5080. That's kind of my ballpark right now, obviously, depending on availability, pricing, et cetera, and how much I can get for my 7800 XT. Now, I have till the 31st to take that back to Best Buy and get a full refund, but I highly doubt these cards are going to be available uh that quick and also at msrp and in stock at best buy i don't think my luck is going to be that good um this is going to be a hot commodity especially the 5090 i think a lot of people are going to grab that the 5080 is probably going to be up there as well 5070s you might get lucky and be able to snag a few but i think these are going to be tough to get that's why i hate people who say like oh wait for next gen like in november december a lot of people are saying oh wait for next gen but it's like you act like these cards are going to be available like that like these things are going to be hard to get um apparently they're producing a lot to get ready you know to have them shipped but i still think they're going to be very hard to get and again for msrp good luck but we'll see maybe i'm wrong but i am uh now waiting for benchmarks we got to see how these cards perform uh because we are not not going to go off of what NVIDIA is claiming, especially with that 5070 claim uh, being 4090 performance for $549. Oh, is that such a TikTok hook? Something you would absolutely hear on TikTok. I don't like the marketing behind a lot of stuff nowadays, especially when it comes to AI, because whatever happened to raw performance? Why aren't we showing actual raw performance numbers? I don't want to base my, you know, decision off of what nvidia posts on their site we'll wait till people get the gpus and do actual benchmarks um i'm assuming it's not going to be that much better than the 40 series now here's the interesting part how much that was weird uh, how much lower is the 4080 or 40 series cards going to dip now um because uh, 4090 is still pretty hard to get even even used they're still pretty damn expensive it'll be interesting to see how much cheaper a 4080 is because i would consider a 4080 i don't necessarily need a 5080 or a 5070 ti um dlss 4 is looking pretty cool but again i'm a, I'm a raw performance kind of guy okay i want to get my money's worth so 4080 to me because i'm on a alienware dwf 1440p oled uh i think 4080 super is the go-to card for 1440p at this moment uh, and if you can get one for 700 bucks used because of the new cards coming out uh, i think that's a steal i would happily do that over the 5080 for a thousand dollars if you can even get it for a thousand dollars again it's going to be months i think before you see 
MSRP for these cards. And, uh, you know, I think even that's a stretch. We'll see if things change this time around, but basing it off of previous years, this is going to be a pain in the butt to get at MSRP. Um, but I hope I'm wrong because I, I would love to be able to go to Best Buy in like, you know, a couple weeks and get one of these cards. It'd be amazing. <laughs> So then I can just take that card back and, and do a trade <laughs> and not have to spend much money. But uh, it's not going to happen, sadly. I don't think so. So, man, these cards look cool. I really – and, again, I'm not a big RGB fan, but I'm liking how these cards look. Like, it's been a long time since – I think I had a 9070 EVGA AIO with a single fan, and I loved it. I, I just put it in the back of – the back fan, the exhaust fan on the back of the case and – I loved it. I loved it because it kept the room cool. It just, it was awesome. So I don't know what I would do. I don't have the case for this, for the for the three fan layout, but I would be interested. If I was doing an RGB build, I would be very interested in something like this because I think it looks cool. It looks way better than previous generations. And I wish AMD did more this time around. It looking like they're just doing the 9070 XT. Maybe they'll do a little 9080, 9090 down the road, but or 9060, whatever, down the road. But uh, it's disappointing because I feel like N AMD, I feel like AMD gives you more bang for your buck, whereas NVIDIA, you're paying a premium like you are with Apple. And I'm not really cool with that. <laughs> Hence why getting a 4080 or 40 series card in general might be a better option for most people, including myself, because it just makes more sense. Now, it's still early, but trying to get a 4080, I mean, obviously, people are going to try their hardest to get, you know, what they can get. But hopefully when these 50 series cards drop, these prices go drastically down, especially on the used market. Again, I would love to get a 4080 for like seven, eight hundred dollars max, because at that point, I'd rather just spend two hundred dollars more roughly to get a 5080. It's not worth it. Like I need a sale. I need a deal, bro. Like seven, eight hundred dollars for a forty eighty would be really freaking cool. I would love to have a forty eighty super in my PC because then I could just call it a day. Uh, I, I, every game I play, everything I do, forty eighty always makes sense to me. I, I love the power consumption. I love the, the the FPS it gets in all the games I play. So I would be very happy with that. Again, we'll see how much more powerful benchmark wise a fifty eighty is. Hopefully we get some benchmarks soon because, again, I'm not going off of what NVIDIA is going to showcase if they're showcasing anything. I don't think there's any benchmarks on here. They got these numbers, but I ain't going by off of that. Um, so it's interesting. It's it, Let me know what your thoughts are down below. What graphics card are you going to get? Are you getting a 5090 for $2,000 if you can get one for $2,000 um, at launch? Good luck. Or are you getting a 5080 or a 5070? Is the 5070 more interesting to you because of the... 4090 performance and understand that's probably with ai and dlss but uh that's still pretty impressive if that's the case which really puts amd in a tough position when it comes to their 9070 xt because i feel like they delayed their pricing because they wanted to see what nvidia was going to do so now we'll see how they price their 9070 gpu it's apparently supposed to rival a 7900 gre so let me know down below what card you are considering getting or if you're going to jump on the 40 series bandwagon and get a 40 series card for used for cheaper because that might be the route I am going with the 4080. I cared about the 4070 Ti for a while, but now it's the super. But now I'm kind of like, yeah, 4080 super might be a much better option now that the price might be dropping a lot. Uh, again, $700 if I can get one, $700, $750. Bro, I'm going to be in an a amazing position for my 1440p OLED ultra-wide monitor by Alienware. Amazing monitor, by the way. Um, so we'll see. We'll wait on some benchmarks, and then I will update you. So uh, let me know in the comments what you're deciding to get. And if you like this kind of content, me reacting to you know the news and whatever, I'm trying to figure out this channel. Let me know down below as well, and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to try to upload a lot. Have a good one.